Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. Flee from her. The only way is to fight her head on. But you cannot win until the price is paid. For one to live, one must die. When you, when you listen to that trailer right there, that alone, the dramatics in that trailer makes this whole series that much more enticing. And of course it should be, because when you think of the star of this series, who's always been enticing on the many screens that she's presented herself on. DB, just give an example of some of her work. Well, let me see. Deja Vu, but uh, my, my favorite will be Hitch because she was fine as hell as that. Show. Okay, yeah. Will Smith fucked that up. But anyway, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Deja Vu. Uh, we, let me see. Ghost Protocol. Warcraft, which I saw, which was, I mean, she had crazy teeth and still looked good in that, too. <laughs> um, you, th there's, there's a common theme going on here. Yeah, what's looking that? Looking good in every looking movie. Yeah, right. Right. Idlewild. Jump the Broom. Okay. Uh, just All Right. right. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. About, oh, last night. about last night. Precious. Yeah. Precious. Which, which one was Precious? Precious. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even mention Precious. Yeah. She looked good in that too. I heard. Look at your computer. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what else you see on that headline? But it, but it, just right. You were, how, you were pregnant when you were filming just right. I was pregnant afterwards. Afterwards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just right after. I know I can see. Um, yeah. Okay. That's an interesting no, 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 <laughs> story. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> I just wrapped, and it was a fun night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's welcome her back to the show. Has it been here since 2011, I believe? Yeah, that is not true. Okay, okay. Oh my okay. God. it's been a long time, okay, though. Whatever. Paula Patton, ladies and gentlemen. 2011. That's like Long time since I saw you, Paula. Whatever, sweet. This is a this is an interesting. Uh, sh it, it premieres tonight, right? Yes, it does. On ABC, it's a new series. Uh, you star as Laura Price. Yes. Tell us the premise of this series, because that that trailer is scary. Well, I'm, that's well, that's good because it's meant to be a thrill ride. It's a, it's okay. a thriller suspense story, but okay. it, the, the stakes are really high. And basically, you meet this woman who has, you know, experienced the greatest loss in her life. And um, and then the only part of the show that's surreal is this idea that if, like, right here, all of us right now, there was, like, a black hole, and we mm -hmm. all just jumped in it, and we got to go eight, ba eight days back mm -hmm. and relive our lives. And essentially, that's what happens to her. And she can change her fate, change this tragedy. And um, the person you meet at the beginning, the lore you meet at the beginning, is not who you meet at the end, because it's about, you know, what do you do when your back's against the wall? Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially... This animalistic characters come out of her. She surprises herself. Um, mm -hmm. Things that she's probably buried down deep, and um, and she's quite a beast to contend with mm -hmm. by the end. Mm -hmm. Quite a beast to contend with. That sounds like a rap lyric right there. <laughs> um, eight days. I'm sitting there thinking when you said that you could turn the hands of time back eight days and change some change your future, right? Your in in the show, yes. In this show, yes. But eight days. I'm trying to think. In the past eight days, is it what, what's happened in the past eight days if you could change? <laughs> You would do. Are you asking me? No, I'm asking everybody. Okay. That's just interesting. My eight days have not been that interesting. It, it, I don't, it has it? Yeah, I don't think so. But I wouldn't change to... anything. But you anybody? Change any? would, you, would you? My grandmother's been begging for medicinal weed, and um, I haven't <laughs> given it to her. She wants the edible. No, okay. I bullshit. Why are you going to make grandma suffer like that? It, it's, <laughs> she's taking so much shit right now. I, it's, it, I think I'm going to go to she, jail. though? 85. Then she gets to have everything. No. I think the way she's complaining, I wish I would have gave it to her. You should have gave her something. She's still alive, though. Yeah, she's still alive. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was eight <laughs> days ago, Paula. She's, it nothing happened in eight days. I just okay. turn, and you're like, she's still here. She wanted okay. edible, and anybody got one. Tracy, what about you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think. I guess, like, maybe, like, productivity levels. Or maybe, like, patience with some folks. I'm not really sure. There isn't, like, this big, like, jarring moment in my life. You're a perfectionist, aren't you? Wish. You're type A. I can see that. Yeah. You that. So I your, your handwriting is on point. I can feel that. Just <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you know, she's a, everything's in alphabetical order. You know, yeah, boom, That's you hit fun. It. Okay. No, <laughs> right. But we, all, we need you. We need you in the world. Absolutely. Right, there, people yeah. like you, you know. Deep what about you, DB? I'm waiting to hear this. I saw Guns N' Roses at the Apollo last week. Okay. okay. I did not take one picture. I did not videotape anything. 
And I felt good about it because I was like, you know what? I enjoyed the damn show. I did not let anything distract me. I didn't share anything on social media. I, I kept it for myself. Now I kind of wish I had maybe taken a little bit of video or something, you know, like Welcome to the Jungle or some shit. A but keepsake. Yeah, just a little something just for, for, for my own personal. I kind of love that you did that, though. That's yeah. amazing. That he didn't take the pictures? A memory. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that that nobody has but me. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, um, you want to join in? I was gonna, I was gonna stop it, but go ahead, OK. You look like you want to face. Are you sure? There was this girl with a big booty uh, that did an approach yesterday, and uh, yeah, I wish I could change that. Can you give us the address? Can she come back to it? Can she meet you back there? Twelve twenty one. She can come over here. You can change your fate. Yeah. There, okay. See his All voice right. change, Paula, when you ask. I questions. think I talked over it too. You might want to say it one more time. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Thank you, OQ. Uh, in this case, uh, your character has a child. This is true. Right? And yes. so, who fate you're trying to change yes. is that of your child. This is true. Yeah. So, for you to play this role being a mom, th th does it separate when you're on a movie set, or do is it help to use your kid? You know, as I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know how you wouldn't use your own personal experience in life yeah. for anything. But any parent, no matter what, I mean, I think that you can agree that it's your child. I mean, there's no one else you would most, you know, change, you know, exchange your life with, uh, give your life for mm -hmm. than your child. So, um, it, it, of course. Yeah. So, OK, cool. Well, yeah. Paula Patton is here. I'm going to open up the phone lines and I'm going to ask her for some advice because I read your, your People magazine um, interview okay. and it was something in it that I could relate relate to. Really? Yes, okay. yes. I'm actually for the budget. 3345 It's Sway in the morning only from Shay forty five.